Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Autel pushes firmware update to add survey capability for Evo Max Series. Indian Moonlander nails it in one. And Aerovironment to acquire Tomahawk Robotics. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Autel pushes for more update to add survey capability for Evo Max series. Autel's Evo Max series of drones are the beneficiary of some new features via an update to the accompanying app and firmware. Overall, the improvements amount to some quality of life updates here and there, with a handful of very convenient features. First off, the addition of a rectangle mission feature allows operators to dial in an automated box pattern where the Evo Max will fly the survey lines just like a full-size mapping aircraft. Additional support for custom polygons help operators dial in the exact land shapes they need, handy for many of the more oddly shaped land holdings in the States. The update also adds a bypass feature to the operator's toolbox, enabling the drone to automatically maneuver around obstacles in its flight path and continue on as written in the flight plan. Quality of life improvements include 50 megapixel photos, hot swappable batteries, media encryption, RTMP live streaming, image transmission bandwidth settings, logbook auto sync, and remote ID round out the other niceties included in the updates. While those may not all be as exciting to mapping operators, they do add some extra capability and customization where it counts, allowing pilots to use their resources as wisely as possible. And coming up after the break, Biden DOJ sues SpaceX. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. I grew up in an aviation family. My dad flew airplanes and flew air shows, actually. So ever since I was three years old, the only thing I've ever wanted to do was be an air show pilot. It's cliche, but I get to live my dream every single day. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, the new aerobatic propeller. It's increased the performance of the airplane. It's made the harmonics balance throughout the airplane so much better. By far the best aerobatic propeller that I've ever flown behind. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Biden DOJ sues SpaceX. Alleging the world-leading orbital space launch provider's hiring practices discriminate against asylum seekers and refugees, the Biden DOJ has sued SpaceX. DOJ stated, quote, The lawsuit alleges that from at least September 2018 to May 2022, SpaceX routinely discouraged asylees and refugees from applying and refused to hire or consider them because of their citizenship status, in violation of the Immigration and Nationality Act, end quote. Elon Musk, on the other hand, notes that, quote, U.S. law requires at least a green card to be hired at SpaceX as rockets are advanced weapons technology, end quote. Red Cat integrates remote ID to Teal 2 military UAV. Red Cat Holdings has sharpened their military-grade SUAS with the receipt of remote ID certification from the FAA. The addition of a legally mandated drone capability doesn't quite represent a groundbreaking, game-changing shift in the light UAV market, but Red Cat was proud of their integrated remote ID system, saying it, quote, goes above and beyond the technology being used in competing drones, end quote. The system sits neatly inside the TL2, broadcasting data from the flight control system about once per second. Kalu Airships opt for Ag Eagle's Red Edge P sensor suite. Kelu Limited has opted to install Ag Eagle's Red Edge P multispectral sensors into their Kelu unmanned airships, improving their performance in their primary survey, inspection, and patrol roles. The Kelu airships offer a high endurance, sustainable, and reliable aircraft for use in the usual survey mission, boasting more than 12 hours of hydrogen power uptime while they putter around their patrol area. Kelu's aircraft have been pressed into service as stewards of Finland's forest and lands, protecting a 15 billion euro market from illicit logging and parasitic infestations. Zero Avia reaches partnership agreement with Mazdar. 
Zero Adia has a new partner in Emirati energy company Mazdar, which will, quote, focus initially on projects in North America and Europe, while also looking at the opportunity to establish clean flight operations in the UAE, end quote. Mazdar has made a point to build itself up to be an early adopter of hydrogen fuel tech, looking to make early bird investments in strategic projects and scalable platforms in key markets. Under its current plans, the firm hopes to pump out at least 1 million tons of hydrogen per annum by 2030. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Indian Moonlander nails it in one. India's Chandrayaan-3 mission landed on the moon successfully less than a week after a competing Russian mission impacted the surface after unsuccessful orbital maneuvering. The successful touchdown of Chandrayaan-3 is a feather in the cap for India's space program as it vies for recognition in the international spacefaring community. The lander now lies near the south pole of the moon, a popular landing locale among competing space missions. It's hoped that analysis in the area will help to unveil the presence of lunar ice reserves, which could portend an easy refueling source of hydrogen, oxygen, and drinkable water for future manned missions. Chandrayaan-3 will now get to work with its built-in array of tools to assess the makeup of the southern lunar surface. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, quote, India's successful moon mission is not just India's alone. Our approach of one Earth, one family, one future is resonating across the globe. This human-centric approach that we present and that we represent has been welcomed universally. Our moon mission is also based on the same human-centric approach. Therefore, the success belongs to all of humanity, and it will help moon missions by other countries in the future." End quote. And after the break, Aerovironment to acquire Tomahawk Robotics. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Aerovironment to acquire Tomahawk Robotics. Aerovironment has announced its anticipated acquisition of Tomahawk Robotics, a firm focused on developing AI-enabled robotic control systems. The company hopes that their new purchase will work some magic in improving the autonomous functionality and interoperability of their best-selling semi-autonomous loitering munitions and uncrewed vehicles. Perhaps most famous in the Aerovironment collection is their Switchblade 300 and 600 loitering munitions system, which gained a measure of notoriety from their use against Russian targets in Ukraine. Tomahawk's expertise and connection a plethora of dissimilar vehicles and systems should prove useful for Aerovironment, allowing each of their product offerings to interface and share data in a network answerable to one common controller scheme. Another prized element of the Tomahawk Robotics portfolio is its Kinesis ecosystem, a quote, AI-enhanced open architecture common control system that seamlessly integrates the network of battle-proven unmanned expeditionary vehicles, sensors, and third-party software onto a single pane of glass, end quote. When used correctly, the Kinesis ecosystem provides, quote, targeted situational awareness and precision strike capabilities for human machine teams across the battle space, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.